Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn maximum and minimum values. We have relative extremum. We have absolute extremum. Relative extremum means relative maximum or relative minimum. Absolute extremum means absolute maximum or absolute minimum. Absolute means the highest for absolute maximum or the lowest for absolute minimum. Relative extremum occurs when f prime x equal to 0. It is the critical numbers. For example, in here, f prime b is equal to 0. So, this one is maximum. This one is a minimum point at the bottom. Relative minimum. So, here f prime c is equal to 0. This one, f prime d is equal to 0. This one is relative maximum. Since this is the highest point, it is also absolute maximum. Relative maximum and absolute maximum. This point, however, point E, it is at the end of the interval. Interval is A, E. So in here, since this is not the highest or the lowest point, then this is not absolute maximum or absolute minimum. But since this is the end point, it cannot be relative. Relative must be in the middle. Not at the end point. Point A. Point A is the end point. So this one, even though it is at the bottom, it is not relative minimum because it is at the end point. But this is the lowest point. So this is called absolute minimum. Absolute minimum, relative maximum, relative minimum, absolute maximum, relative maximum and nothing. Example, find the relative and absolute extremum values for fx equal to 2x cubed minus 15x square plus 36x on the interval 1, 5. First, we find the critical numbers. So, f prime x is equal to 6x square minus 30x plus 36 equal to 0. Factor out 6, we have x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. So now, we have to find the zeros. x, x, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 plus 3, 5. But this one, minus. So, negative 2, negative 3. So, from here, you have x minus 2 equal to 0. x equal to 2. x minus 3 equal to 0. x equal to 3. We need to check whether we have a maximum or minimum point. 
So, find the second derivative. You get from here 12x minus 30. We substitute the critical numbers into the second derivative. 2. So, this one 12 times 2. 12 times 2 minus 30 equal to 24 minus 30 equal to minus 6. Less than 0. So, this is the relative maximum. Then, enter the second number. 3. So, 12 times 3, 36 minus 30 equal to plus 6. Greater than 0. So, this one is relative minimum. Now, we want to find absolute maximum and absolute minimum. So, we draw a table. X and Fx. The end point is 1. The critical points are 2 and 3. 2, 3. And the other end point is 5. We already know that this is a maximum point. This is a minimum point. But what we want to check is which one is the absolute maximum and absolute minimum. You see, we substitute 1 into F. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 15 plus 36 equal to 23. 2 times 2 cube minus 15 times 2 square plus 36 times 2 is equal to 28. 2 times 3 cube minus 15 times 3 square plus 36 times 3 is equal to 27. And finally, 2 times 5 cube minus 15 times 5 square plus 36 times 5 is equal to 55. From this table, the highest value is 55. And the lowest value is 23. Therefore, this is absolute maximum and this is absolute minimum. Relative maximum, x equal to 2. Relative minimum, x equal to 3. Absolute minimum x equal to 1. Absolute maximum x equal to 5. Thank you.